see this firsthand. And, and Congressman, I understand someone from the White House actually called you up angry that you were criticizing the president publicly. What did they say? Well, let, let me put it this way. I, I thought we had a very constructive, positive uh, conversation. Uh, I'm still calling for the president uh, to come down to the border. Apparently, he didn't do it visit, but the door is open for him to go down there. My community leaders, my, uh, you know, my churches and other folks have asked me, why did the president not come uh, down to the border? That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for anything else. Come down to the border and just see it for yourself. If it's not important, then why is he not, uh, why is he asking us for $3.7 billion uh, of, uh, of help? And I want to be supportive but, of the president of, on that funding. I, I got to push you, though. I mean, can you, can you give any detail of what, I know you don't want to say who called you from the White House, but when you, do they yell at you? I mean, you say it was a constructive dialogue. Clearly, they're not happy at you being on television talking out. What, can you say anything that they said? Well, you know, let, let me put it this way. I, I think they're very smart. They're not going to yell at a, a member of Congress who sits in appropriations. They're a lot smarter than that. Uh, so there was no yelling. There were conversations. Uh, but again, I will say this, uh, that again, I'm still saying what I've been saying. Uh, this is a humanitarian crisis. What is wrong by having the president go down there? He was only 242 miles from the border when he was in Austin. He was